Hi guys, uh, today I just wanted to uh, talk about and teach you about how to create Facebook ad image uh, through Canva for free. All right, you can see this picture, it, it's, it generally looks like it's really very professional, right? So there are many other pictures uh, with Facebook ads and at the same time uh, when you are into advertising, this is one of the important aspects which you need to consider either if you are into Facebook um, if you want to create an ad you require a pictures uh, which becomes more attractive and along with that your page also should be a very attractive picture so that if someone pops into your business page or your page you consider or the ads which you do it uh, most of the ads get conversion only because of the pictures most of the ads get conversion only because of the picture so today I just wanted to show you a tutorial on how to create Facebook ad image through Canva for free. All right. So what we are going is there is Canva.com, www.canva.com. So what you need to do is either you can log in or you just need to create an account. So when you go and log in, either you can register for yourself like a sign up or you can log in with your Facebook or with the Google. So I do have a Facebook login. So what I do is I always log in through my Facebook account. And you can see I do a lot of <coughs> uh, <coughs> pictures for different different aspects, even for my ebooks or giveaways and all those stuff. So uh, <coughs> let me show you uh, what exactly you need to do over here. All right. So with the Facebook, uh, when we have to do with their sizes, it is always mentioned with the ads that is we need to the width has to be. 1200 and the height has to be 628 all right that is what the desired output is all about so you need to design as per the given uh, width and the height all right so th this is uh, the uh, width and this is the height all right so now what we are doing over here is so now we do have a blank <coughs> copy <coughs> sorry what you can do is either you can add a background over here at the back or you can directly do most of your designing pictures so i usually go with the backgrounds okay uh, <coughs> you can even select either a green color which is my favorite uh, you can go with the yellows or you can even select uh, the lighter shades whatever you like okay so in anything you like it you can always create it all right you can even create a lighter version in the background or you can even create without this background usage so uh, today with in this tutorial i'll be using a background okay with this color and what we can do is either we can upload all the pictures over here or uh, whatever pictures is on your pcs or which is in the Google, you can always uh, create a pictures or either you can search over here the images, uh, the photos of uh, any um, uh, laptop, uh, beach, uh, anything uh, as in such. You can see there's a free photos. You can select any pictures you wanted. Okay. So make sure which is usable, which, which can be used for your ads. Okay. I basically do i always brand myself so i basically use my own pictures so for this ad i'm using this pictures so you can see that this picture uh, the size over here is a little smaller so what i do is i grab this picture over here and resize it you can see here i'm just resizing it okay okay awesome so what I do is it's 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 something similar to the half of the portion and half is just been left. So what I do is I go with the elements, I go with different shapes and platforms first with the text because I need to type in the text. So what I do is either you can go and click on the add uh, headings or if you have any small title or something. Basically, I usually go with uh, uh, this pre-written format because uh, everything is pre-written. <coughs> And if you think there's something which is catchy for you, you can directly do with that. Okay. So what I usually go is, um, you can always check, you can always test and tweak yourself 
uh, which you need to do and which is comfortable for you so either you can go for this format or um, uh, even this format is really awesome or uh, either you can go with uh, more of words and less of uh, bigger words because when, whenever you're creating a picture for the Facebook, you need to always consider of 20% rule of words, okay? Like 80% of the picture and 20% of the words. So you need to make sure that your picture follow the rules of the Facebook of 20. Okay? So I usually go for these kind of uh, stuff. You can go with any other font you want, wanted. And um, I'm just uh, creating for this, okay? what I'm doing is um, hitting it little big and hitting it how to make or create a Facebook ad image all right and here I'm giving Facebook tutorial or you can even mention your name or anything over here and um, I always make sure this follow the rules of 8020 and uh, along with that what I do is I always like little pictorials so I always use uh, images of video uh, so that it, it looks something like uh, similar to the YouTube so either you can go for the free versions or you can even select the pro versions if you subscribe over here it is a pro where you can make use of a lot of other pictures and uh, you can see over here there's a lot of other pictures which you can make use of it um just for the demo i'm just using uh, these pictures i usually like this because this represents uh, youtube so what i do is um yeah so i place this picture you just need to scroll it up scroll down okay anyway you need to you can do it and i'm just clicking on the picture and making it little appropriate size and when I click on you can see here when I click on this picture you can see a little pop-up of this and I'm changing the color I usually go with uh, YouTube uh, stuff but you can always go and uh, design yourself okay and uh, when you again click the picture this also you can design it of anything you want it okay so I wanted this to look something similar representing YouTube as a video as well so it get more emphasis and along with that what I'm doing is I use a lot of uh, frames uh, so I'm just going for the elements I'm going for the shapes and uh, here you can see these are uh, <coughs> uh, free uh, uh, what do you call the frames and as this is a square I go for the square stuff either you can go with this platform if you don't like this if you wanted something um, more interesting you can even go go for this or um, if, if you like more interesting you can even um, go for these kind of um, images okay so uh, you can see here how you can uh, transform this images okay uh, you can see here it's uh, they look really uh, perfectly fine and uh, as I shared with you when you click on this picture you can see um, that you can change uh, the color of the circle all right so you can always color the circles on any uh, size and shapes like either uh, you know to stand out or a blue or any light and dark or any other colors if you want it all right so but i would go definitely for uh, the square image so that it gets stand out i usually go with these frames i'm just grabbing it placing over here and i'm just making it sure either oh, th there are two options which you can make it one is either you can um, emphasize on this or you can even emphasize on your complete picture okay um, you can design you can always test and tweak and all those stuffs because um, once you do a little testing and tweaking you will uh, understand which pictures are good and which is uh, giving you a lot more importance and that's how it has been done which you can 
download it and always go for jpg if you are in using it for um, facebook ads all right and you just need to download it make sure it follows the rules of uh, grid so i'll just take you over how to excuse me let me save it okay so now i'm just going for grid image checker tool all right so this is one tool which i use it it's called facebook grid image checker tool um you can even go for text overlay tool from the facebook provided all right so you can see over here I, i'll be testing with two different images the one image which i already created uh, you can see whether it is following the rules of facebook or not um, over here okay so what i'm doing is i'm just clicking on the check box so that so can you see here that uh, this image the wordings over here is 28 percent of your image contains text so that the facebook will not accept this picture for the advertisement so what i'm doing over here is the image which we created just now uh, i will be using that okay and uh, you would see there is a lot of difference uh, with 2080 rule with the facebook in order to uh, get your facebook ads can you see here perfectly fine all right so congratulations your image meets a facebook requirement of 20 percent or less than the text so this is one of the uh, best thing which you need to consider facebook gives you this uh, lay and below the video you have all the links provided uh which whatever i've shared over here uh facebook provides this tool it's called um uh, text overlay tool or facebook grid image checker tool so i use this tool so that it, it makes me analyze whether this image is perfectly fine for my facebook ads so in order to get more further updates and more videos on a daily basis just subscribe to my channel and uh, comment below if you like it or not or if you have any question just comment below subscribe like and share this video thank you so much take care bye bye